So the eclipse to, happens today. It's a partial solar eclipse here in Richmond. It starts at 202. Maximum eclipse will be at 318. That's when 83% of the sun will be covered. And then the eclipse ends at 431. And for us, we'll have a little bit of cloud cover here. The path of totality, that's where they get 100% of the sun covered and it gets dark. That stretches from Texas up to the Ohio Valley. But look at this. There's going to be cloud cover in Texas. In fact, they have a risk of severe thunderstorms there today. We follow a path up to just near St. Louis where they'll have some clouds around and Ohio is kind of one of the states that's closest to us that's going to see a good view of that. They'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies with more sun farther northwest, more clouds south and east. But you notice for us here in central Virginia, increasing clouds from the west, but more cloud cover from the mountains up into West Virginia for traveling up that way. And it looks like one of the best places for the eclipse may be northern Maine, where they're going to have crystal clear skies there today. For us, sun with increasing clouds from west to east during the day today. A lot of areas touching or breaking 70, and there may be a couple sprinkles, mostly west of I-95 by later on today. We'll have a better chance of a couple showers the next couple days, just scattered ones, mid to upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. A really good chance of rain on Thursday. Could see a decent amount as well with some thunderstorms. It'll be windy. After that, the rain gets out of here early Friday. It'll still stay kind of windy. And most next weekend's looking dry. May have a shower by Sunday evening, but look at that. Getting back closer to 80 degrees.